the first question is multiply 12 by 3 and express your answer in Roman numerals. Twelve times three, three times two, six, three times one, three. So our value of twelve multiplied by three is thirty-six. Now to write this in Roman numeral, let's consider thirty-six. The place value of six here is unit, and the place value of three here is tens. Therefore, for us to get thirty-six, it is thirty and plus six. 30 plus 6 gives us 36. Now, how do we express 30 in Roman numerals? 30 in Roman numeral is x, 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 and 6 in Roman numeral is vi. So when we join these two together, we we'll get x, 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 vi. What are the prime factors of 24? Let's first of all answer this question by getting the factors of 24. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. 24 can divide 1, 24 can divide 2, 24 can divide 3, 24 can divide 4, 24 can divide 6, 24 can divide 8, 24 can divide 12, and 24 can divide 24. So all these numbers are the factors of 24. Now let's bring out the prime factors of 24. First of all, what are prime factors or what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are simply numbers that are divisible by 1 and itself. So for a number to be called a prime number, it must be divisible by at least one number and maximum of two numbers which means it must be divisible by 1 and it must be divisible by itself. However, 1 here is not a prime number. Why? Because 1 can only divide 1, which is itself. So 1 is not a prime number. 2 is a prime number because 2 can divide 1 and 2 can divide 2. 3 is a prime number because 3 can divide 1 and 3 can divide 3. 4 is not a prime number because 4 can divide 1 4 can divide 2 and 4 can divide 3. 6 is not a prime number because 6 can divide 1, 6 can divide 2, 6 can divide 3. So 6 is not a prime number. 8 is not a prime number also. 12 is not a prime number and 24 is not a prime number. So the only prime number we have here is 2 and 3. Now, the second method we can use to find the prime factors of 24 is by dividing 24 to its lowest term using prime numbers. Using prime numbers. Examples of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. Now, 2 is a prime number and 2 is a factor of 24. So let's use 2 to divide 24. 2 divided by 24 will give us 12. 2 also can divide 12. So 2 divided by 12 will give us 6. 2 can divide 6. 2 divided by 6 will give us 3. Now 2 can divide 3. So let's use 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now let's use 1, okay? We can't use 1 because 1 is not a prime number. So our prime factor here is 2 How many seconds are there in 60 minutes? We are looking for the number of seconds that are there in 60 minutes. Therefore, we have 60 seconds to give us one minute. Now, how many seconds? So, x seconds will give us 
60 minutes. From here, we cross multiply. X times 1 is X to be equal to 60 times 60 into 60 times 60. So X will not give us 3,600 seconds. So there are 3,600 seconds in 60 minutes. Express 0 0.6 as a fraction. Zero point six can be expressed as a fraction by saying zero point six over one. Zero point six over one is the same thing as zero point six. But however, this is still in decimal fraction. So to express it completely as a fraction, let's repeat zero point six over one. Now we move our decimal place forward and add one zero to the denominator. So we now have 6 over 10. However, 6 over 10 can be simplified. So that when 6 divides 2, we get 3 over, and when 10 divides 2, we get 3 over 5. So 0 0.6 as fraction is 6 over 10. And 6 over 10 can be simplified further to give us 3 over 5. Also, if we also have 0 0.59 as fraction, we can also express this as fraction by saying 0 0.59 over 1. Then we also say 0 0.59 over 1 again. Now we move our decimal place this time twice, 1, 2. So that we don't have a decimal point anymore before or in between the number then we we'll add double zeros to the denominator so that we'll have it as 59 over 100 this is how to change decimal numbers to fraction